So to be a disciple, we have to pick up the cross. Um, we have to have discipline, and we have to be holy, okay? How do we be disciples? What are disciples? Disciples sit at the feet of their master, and they learn, okay? So um, the solution is to be a disciple, to know, to love, and then to go. So to know, how do we learn from our master? How do we sit at his feet? Well, we do that often in prayer. You know, have daily prayer. Have the habits, form the habits in your life of prayer. When I was in college, like when I said um, I had that transformative year, my junior year of college, I was taking a Zen in, Zen in Buddhism class. And this is quite comical because, you know, that's what led me to a deeper relationship with God, right? So um, one of the assignments was to meditate for 15 minutes a day, okay? So we had a chapel on campus, and I would go there and meditate. And, and um, Nick, right, he was telling me how he goes to, to new life at, and his time off when he's at college, and, and he prays. And I encourage you guys to do the same. It's, prayer is just so powerful, and there's so much noise around us, and there's so much going on, so much that you can be doing. But to take that time out and pray um, will transform your life, and it transformed mine. And I took that class seriously, or I took that assignment seriously, and I prayed for 15 minutes a day, and it made all the difference. You know, when we pray, we talk to God, we talk to the creator of the universe, but we also need to listen to, right? We form those habits, we give ourselves that time, we talk with our maker. We um, St. Therese of Lisieux says, prayer is nothing more than an intimate conversation with the one that we know who loves us, right? So we know God loves us to have that conversation, and we cannot love what we do not know. So as disciples, we need to learn who God is. We need to understand. We need to pray, and we need to read scripture. You know, that's, those are great ways to know who God is. I mean, God has given us his word. He's given us a book to read, Right? Um, has anyone here read The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings or Twilight or Harry Potter? All right, I know we have some readers here. Um, we were talking about um, the pursuit of God over here, right? And we're talking about C.S. Lewis, and we definitely have some awesome readers here. So that's totally sweet, but let's just picture this, all right? We, we die, we go up to heaven, and we meet God, and he says, okay, so I see you read Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Did you read my book, right? Did you read my book? My whole book, all right. I know some parts of it, Leviticus, Numbers, New Test, Old Testament, can be boring, but this is God's book. Read his book, okay? Um, that's how, those are ways that we can know God. And then how can we love God? You know, how can we love God? Well, the best way that we can love God is to love each other and to love our neighbors. Um, he tells us, how, how can you say that you love God who you don't see, but you don't love your neighbor who you do see, right? You hypocrites, Jesus tells us. But we need to love each other and how can we love each other? Mother Teresa says, the fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. I mean, that's a great way to love each other, is to serve each other. So know God, love God, and then go. And Jesus tells us, the harvest is abundant and the laborers are few. Right?